Have you ever noticed how much better you feel when you go to bed at the same time every night? Well, new research suggests this simple habit could be doing more than helping you feel rested. It might actually be lowering your blood pressure. Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry, and I'm the founder of HealthyBloodPressure.com. In this video, I'm going to reveal how keeping a consistent bedtime can help reduce your blood pressure, what the science says about sleep timing, and give you practical steps you can take tonight to start improving your cardiovascular health. Most of us focus on getting enough hours of sleep. But here's something you might not know. When you sleep matters just as much as how long you sleep. And the consistency of your bedtime plays a surprisingly powerful role in controlling your blood pressure. A recent study published in the journal Sleep Advances looked at adults with high blood pressure who maintained a consistent bedtime for two weeks. Now, these participants didn't sleep any longer than they normally did. They simply went to bed at roughly the same time each night. Here's what happened. The study included 11 middle-aged adults with obesity and high blood pressure. At the start, their bedtime varied by about 30 minutes from night to night. During the two-week study, they reduced that variability to just a few minutes. And even though they weren't sleeping longer, researchers saw modest but meaningful improvements in their blood pressure readings, especially overnight. Dr. William Liu, medical director at Dream Health in San Francisco, explained that even a small nighttime drop in systolic pressure can lower cardiovascular risk. And that's exactly what these participants experienced. So why does going to bed at the same time each night make such a difference? It all comes down to your body's internal clock, called your circadian rhythm. Dr. Liu explains that consistent bed and wake times keep your circadian clock synchronized to Earth's day-night cycle. Think of your body like a finely tuned orchestra. When every instrument plays at the right time, you get beautiful music. But when the timing is off, everything sounds chaotic. Your body releases important hormones like melatonin and cortisol at specific times throughout the day. A steady sleep schedule ensures these hormones are released when they should be, which helps maintain the natural rise and fall of your blood pressure during the day and night. During sleep, your blood pressure normally drops. This is called nocturnal dipping, and it's crucial for heart health. But when your sleep timing is irregular, your body struggles to maintain this healthy pattern. Your blood pressure might not drop as much as it should at night, putting extra strain on your cardiovascular system. Here's something that might surprise you. Disruptions in sleep timing can affect your blood pressure almost immediately. Many people think that staying up late on weekends or shifting their bedtime occasionally has little impact. But Dr. Liu warns that the body responds to these changes much faster than most people realize. Even one night of irregular sleep can throw off your circadian rhythm and affect your blood pressure the next day. Over time, chronic irregular sleep patterns can contribute to sustained high blood pressure and increased cardiovascular risk. Okay, so you understand why consistent sleep timing matters, but how do you actually build this habit? Dr. Liu offers some practical advice. First, start with your morning wake-up time. Pick a wake time you can sustain every day, including weekends. This becomes your anchor point. Second, get 30 minutes of morning light exposure right after you wake up. This helps reset your circadian clock each day. You can do this by going outside for a walk, sitting by a window, or even just opening your curtains while you have breakfast. Third, set a consistent bedtime that gives you enough sleep before your wake time. Most adults need seven to nine hours of sleep, so work backward from your wake time to determine when you should go to bed. Fourth, add a brief wind down routine before bed. This could be reading, gentle stretching, or listening to calming music. The key is to do the same relaxing activities each night to signal to your body that it's time to sleep. Fifth, cut back on stimulants like caffeine in the afternoon and evening. 
Also reduce your screen time before bed as the blue light from phones and computers can interfere with your body's natural sleep signals. Let me explain a bit more about why sleep consistency specifically affects blood pressure. Your autonomic nervous system controls your blood pressure automatically without you having to think about it. This system has two main parts. The sympathetic nervous system, which raises blood pressure during activity and stress, and the parasympathetic nervous system, which lowers blood pressure during rest and sleep. When you maintain a consistent sleep schedule, these systems learn to switch on and off at predictable times. But irregular sleep confuses these systems. Your body doesn't know when it should be ramping up or winding down, which can lead to elevated blood pressure throughout the day. Additionally, irregular sleep often leads to higher levels of stress hormones like cortisol. Elevated cortisol can cause your blood vessels to constrict and can lead to sodium retention in your body, both of which increase blood pressure. Now, before you throw away your blood pressure medication and rely solely on a consistent bedtime, let me be clear about something. Improving your sleep timing is a helpful addition to your blood pressure management plan, but it should not replace medications prescribed by your doctor. Dr. Liu emphasizes that consistent bedtimes should be used alongside blood pressure medications, not as a substitute. Always consult your doctor before making any changes to your treatment plan. Also, the study I mentioned earlier did have some limitations. The sample size was relatively small with only 11 participants, and the study lasted just two weeks, so researchers could only measure short-term changes. The study also lacked a control group, so it couldn't definitively prove that the blood pressure improvements were caused by consistent bedtimes rather than other lifestyle factors. Larger, longer-term studies are needed to confirm these findings. Remember, even modest improvements in your nighttime blood pressure drop can lower your cardiovascular risk. And the beauty of this approach is that it's low risk and easy to implement. Let me know in the comments below if you've noticed any connection between your sleep patterns and your blood pressure. Have you tried keeping a consistent bedtime? What were your results? I'd love to hear your experiences.